And Dave Spencer joining us live with what he uncovered tonight. Dave, it's pretty disturbing. Yeah, it's pretty disturbing. It's pretty long. Uh, we're talking about a 34 year old man from Warren with a driving criminal driving record that stretches back from June of this year all the way back to 2007 and years in between. Time and time again, this man finds himself in front of a judge accused of traffic violations, speeding, even drug offenses. And time and time again, he finds himself behind the wheel of a car. This is what closed the lodge near West Outer Drive at 1130 Tuesday night. I heard a boom. Never thought in a million years it would be this horrific. State police say a 34 year old man from Warren was driving a Chrysler town and country at a high rate of speed and crashed into this red car. Can't even tell what kind of car it is. Due to the damage, police also did not identify that second vehicle. Secretary of State, though, telling us it was a 2009 Chevy Aveo. A 21 year old from Detroit was a passenger in that red car and died on the scene. Another passenger taken to the hospital with critical injuries. Police suspect the driver of the van was under the influence, but he refused all tests. Digging into his driving record, we found at least 21 driving violations, many more if you include his failure to comply with court orders. The 34 year old from Warren first had his license suspended for disobeying a traffic signal in July of 2007. Four more offenses in 2008, careless driving, speeding, and driving on a suspended license. In 2009, he was pulled over for the exact same offenses and again had his license suspended. In 2010, he was issued a ticket for going 50 in a 35. Again, his license was suspended. Four years later, he was arrested for controlled substances and fleeing and eluding. One more time, his license was suspended. In 2020, he was stopped for going 98 where the speed limit was 70. A couple months later, he was involved in an injury accident on a motorcycle. And this year, he was arrested on another controlled substance charge and convicted one week prior to this crash on the lodge. And today I was able to reach out to the attorney who represented that 34 year old man from Warren on many of those cases. He says he wasn't aware of the crash that happened last night. He did say his client was a mild mannered and a nice guy, but wouldn't offer any other comment regarding what happened. He says he also hasn't been contacted by that person to represent him in the case that happened just less than 24 hours ago right here on the lodge. Reporting along the lodge, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. So to be clear, he wasn't, his license was not suspended, Dave, at the time. He wasn't on probation. And uh, if it wasn't, it sounds like it probably should have been. Yeah, I mean, obviously you saw how many times his license was suspended over the years. It was not revoked, so he would serve out the time, be on probation, and again get pulled over, and the cycle would continue. And obviously what happened tonight, if the man is found to be responsible for what happened, is the horrific tragedy that can result of all this. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people watching at home believe something needs to change. Dave, thank you for that.